Growth in plants. As mentioned earlier, there are two types of growth in plants. There is the primary growth and secondary growth. In this section, we look at primary growth in plants. Primary growth is brought about by the activities of the apical meristems that are located at the tips of the shoot and the root. Sometimes primary growth is also brought about by the intercalary meristem that is found in monocots. Primary growth produces primary tissues such as the epidermis, primary xylem and primary phloem. Now a longitudinal section of the shoot and the root tips reveal three distinct zones in each. In this diagram here, we have longitudinal section of the shoot and the root. We can see that there are three distinct zones in each of the flower of the plant bud. There is a zone of cell division, both ends. We have zone that is the first one. Then zone of cell elongation and zone of cell differentiation. Now in each zone there are characteristic events that take place. At the zone of cell division, which is located at the extreme tip, the cells actively divide by mitosis. In the shoot, this zone of cell division that contains the apical meristem is protected by a tight cluster of leaf primordia. These are immature leaves that in appearance form the apical bud. So in plants, the apical bud represents nothing but a cluster of primordial cells beneath which there is the apical meristem where cells undergo active division. In the root, the apical meristem is covered by the root cap. This root cap provides protection for the apical meristem. In the zone of cell elongation, which is located just behind the zone of cell division, the cells increase in size through the formation of subvacuoles in a process known as vacuolation. So through vacuolation, cells elongate, and this process occurs at the zone of elongation, just behind the zone of cell division. And then you have the zone of cell differentiation. This is located after the zone of elongation. This zone consists of cells undergoing specialization to form various primary tissues depending on their location. The leaf primordia grow into leaves. The primary tissues once formed are pushed behind to form the permanent tissues. So these new tissues are pushed in this direction and this is what contributes to the overall increase in length of the plant. Now how do we show that growth has taken place in a plant? One of determining and showing that growth has taken place is to demonstrate the different growing regions of a root. This is done using a germinating seedling, for example, of a bean or a pea. Ensure that the germinating seedling has straight radical. So this is the radical. Make sure that the radical is straight. We pick those with straight radicals. The radicals are then marked with indelible Indian inks at about two millimeter intervals. The seedlings 
I then kept in moist cotton wool and left to grow for 24 hours. After 24 hours, the observations that are made are that the intervals between the marks increase due to growth. You can see here at the start there were just two millimeter intervals, but after 24 hours, in all the intervals, the lengths have increased. This is because of growth. But the marks get most widely separated a short distance behind the tip. So where we have the greatest growth, we have the greatest separation of the intervals. What conclusions do you arrive at? From this, you can conclude that the region where the marks are most widely separated correspond to the zone of cell elongation, this region here. This is where the cells elongate, the, the, the elongated most. The regions before the zone of elongation, this one will represent the region of, zone of cell division. That is the zone of cell division. While the region behind the zone of cell elongation represent the zone of cell differentiation. So by using a germinating seed, we can demonstrate the various zones of growth. Zone of elongation will have the greatest separation of the ink markings. And then the region behind represents the zone of cell differentiation, while the region between the zone of elongation and the tip will represent the zone of cell division.